chat chat has chosen Victor Wimbanyama over Coach Pop. Let's listen. It's like you were just shaking off some rust. The- oh, right off the bat, huh? All right, shaking off some rust. Yeah, you were trash tonight, Wimby. He was trash. I think I can say that. I think Wimby is so good that I could like kind of joke around and like really hammer in how bad he is at times. And you know, you guys know that it's not a big deal. Who cares? Can't do that with every player. Started this game having not really played. You were trash tonight, Wimby. What do you have to say about <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that? What do you have to say for yourself? Just getting back on the the habits, you know. It's been like it's been what five months, six months maybe since I played this game. So there was definitely some. Uh, today was the day to exper- experiment all, the, all this. Pop said that you were doing nutmegs, man. You were when when we played so cute. It, it was and not a good type of cute either. I was like, come on, bro, you doing you doing too much. Like he had a really bullet pass to Malachi Brown. I think that was Malachi Brown underneath the rim. Beautiful pass. Quite unnecessary though. It did not have to be a look, a, a no look pass. I don't understand why he did that. The full court pass. Yeah, I think that's Carolina. Does Carolina always go first? Only some. Uh, She's like, give me the mic. Exper- experiment all, the, all this. Pop said that um, Chris Paul so wide and he has so much experience that sometimes. He gets- Real talk. It's completely off topic. I'm sorry. Is are there other? Are there other women, like, journalists or reporters or whatnot in that room? They never really show us the room. We only see it from other people's cameras that's in the room. But, like, we never see it. No idea? Yeah? I know we have Jasmine. I think I, I think Jasmine, right? And we have Carolina. We've had Carolina on the channel before, by the way. She's cool. Um, You just never hear it. Just that one new lady? Yeah, it's Carolina T. Weird. I think uh, she said, what's it like being with Chris Paul on the court, I think. I mean, being on the court with him certainly feels like, you know, he's got things in control. So uh, reassuring a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, it's uh, one more teammate, you know, I can rely on. In a, in a tough moments or in a doubt moments, you know, so it's it's only positive. You use the word experiment. It did look like you were trying some stuff that you might not have tried mm-hmm. in the regular season. Yeah. Game. Is that fair to say? Yeah, of course. Of course. It's, uh... You were trying stuff that you might not try in the regular season? Um, I disagree. He did a lot in the regular season, man. I don't know. I don't know. He really need to get his fundamentals now. You know, that's going to take time. You know, some of the, some worked, some didn't, but it's uh, now is the day where the, regular season. the coaches are probably the most uh, forgetful. You know? <laughs> I don't really pay attention to the journalist names, only you. Oh, well, I, I mean, I don't either. I don't either, but I do know Carolina. And I was just wondering, like, are there other women in the room? Because I only hear her every time we go over these press conferences. I think that's weird. I think that's strange. Did you try the nutmeg dribble again? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I don't know the other people in the room, mind you. You mentioned last week that this is a year when you're going to get closer to the basket. We didn't necessarily see that today, but that's, that's still coming, right? Mm-hmm. You're, you're going to be post-game. Of course, I mean, getting close to the basket is not only post-game, but it um, it's, uh, should always be, I mean, it should be the one of the first options, you know, to because the, the shots close to the basket are, you know, I'm one of the, the best at it, so I need to... I need to get as many of those as I can. If it's 25 a game, I need to get 25 of them. Get better. Your thoughts on uh, Steph Castle after seeing him in his first two preseason games? Um, I mean, thoughts very, very positive. You know, uh, if I have a, I mean, from already from day one, the day I met him, a very good impression of him. So, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really glad his his game is looking like it's transitioning really good, and uh, his he actually looks like he looks more experienced than he is. He's, uh, I think he, he gives a very mature impression. So uh, That's what I was saying, because in that first game, when people said, oh, the six turnovers mean something, clan, and I'm like, no, it doesn't. I didn't think that he came across as a rookie that, were, that was rushing things or anything like that. It just seemed like, honestly, I know he's not a vet. He's, he gonna, you know, it's going to be learning curves, but 
it really felt like a vet that just made some mistakes because he's rusty that's it i don't know it was like every single play it was like oh, i saw what you were trying to do there you know it, it he'll be fine um it's uh you know i'm very 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 glad he's the way he is i'm happy he's the way he is too happy birthday clan thank you Diego. i'm really sleepy yeah right now. uh I'm so sleepy right now. It's uh yeah, it's been uh you know on and off. He's tried some stuff, of course. You know, he's tried to to figure out his role. And but right now, I I gotta say, even from after seeing him in practice, it surprised me how much he. I mean, how much he can you know uh, cause uh, fouls, you know. And um yeah, I mean, and he doesn't bail out, you know. I mean, he's really. Who call? Do Do you get personal? No, yeah, that's a stupid question. I'm sleepy. I was about to say, do you get? personal refs in practice like do you hire somebody to be the ref in practice no you probably you probably just have coaches do it that would make sense it's just coaches that do it right assistant coaches or whatnot you can tell Vic likes castle a lot everyone likes castle a lot we had city sissoko praising castle during the summer league we've had harrison ingram praise castle during the summer league we've had chris paul just straight up blatantly say he's really good and now you have victor Wimbanyama doing it i know and we've had uh pop do it as well saying that he doesn't get too high doesn't get lo too low and we already know that was very reminiscent of what he said back in the day about Kawhi leonard so yeah everyone loves castle there's really not too much to critique that's why it bothers me when i see fans critique something that doesn't really need a lot of critiquing yet you know my bed is so cozy right now. You are, you're a demon. You know how jealous I am right now. Clan, take your butt to bed, man. It's near midnight here in LA. Yeah, it's, it's 2 a.m. right now where I'm at, so. Pretty, really strong, so. I have to, I have to talk about this, man. I have to talk about this. It's my birthday today and I want, you know, some days off. So, you know, some good segments, some good segments. Um, You are, you're a demon. He just posted sheep. I'm gonna go to sleep in the middle of this reaction. All right, let's get through this. It's even though I'm, I saw it in practice, I'm still surprised. I don't know if you're aware, but since basically since the Spurs signed Chris, feels like <laughs> the whole city has been waiting for him to throw that first lob mm -hmm. past you for a dunk. Feel but like that the whole feel like city's like felt like uh, felt very natural street. and go, yeah, very, yeah, like yeah, it felt like yeah. a good, it was the good play. And he he's making a lot of good plays, so it's uh it's, it's it feels really good to play with him and. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we, we try to, in this preseason, we're going to try to experiment as much as we can on, the, on, on that pick and roll, that's for sure. Did that go through your mind when the Spurs Wimby, what do you think about like, playing oh, the Spurs fan? Like, was that a thought that you actually maybe had? Uh, not really. I mean, it's uh, getting lobs. Why am I putting course, on a necklace? I'm going to sleep after You know, we, a, a lob is a easy, easy dunk, you know, easy basket. And teams really, what, I mean, this is one of the first things they think about to guard. So it's, uh, it's not as easy as it seems to, to, to throw lobs. But if there's yes, geez, good God, everyone's like, just lob, just lob. Why don't you simply just lob? Everyone, everyone on the team is they're just not playing hard enough. Just get, just get good. One guy in this league who can throw in is probably him. You feel like the guys you played with last year are more comfortable knowing what you can do and you know, we'll be able to get you to all those right now. This ain't 2K, exactly, dude. Stop. Yeah, I, I mean. The impression I got from playing today and also watching the first game is that everybody just got better during the summer. Just made me wonder, you know, what's the, the limit if everybody gets, keeps getting better every year. It's uh, I really don't think it's like this everywhere because I saw everybody get in the gym and it's it looks like it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna pay off. So that's something right there. That's something right there. What he just said. That was another narrative last season. Oh, you're going to lose Wimby. Oh, he's he he can only be patient for so long, even though he, he was literally a rookie. Um, but that right there, that quick statement of I don't think it's like this everywhere. He's very grateful um, of the and he's he's he understands and recognizes the situation that he's in. And one thing that helps us a lot, and I know people bring up uh, Tim Duncan asking for a trade long time ago, possibly leaving. Right. Um, for the Orlando Magic. One thing that they don't bring up is the fact that we won five championships, right? We've won five championships. We've shown that we're a competent franchise. We've been successful. And it's not that long ago um, that that was the case, right? Um, so him coming in 
he's already has that we already have that you know in our in our bag he goes to these games and those banners are hanging up every single game he recognizes the franchise that he's in there there is no i'm not saying that he has to be grateful to the extent that the spurs don't have to do their part but i do think that he's going to give them the benefit of the doubt and i think that fans should give the franchise the benefit of the doubt right now we're not dealing with the dallas cowboys here okay i'm a cowboys fan i know what it's like to have a bad uh, have bad management bad ownership that is not the case like that with the spurs we're one of the best so i see french okay. Oh, happy birthday, clan. Appreciate your videos, man. Keep grinding. Honestly, my favorite YouTuber. You're my favorite chatter. I, I'm lying. I, you're not my favorite chatter, but I, I do love you. I, I don't know. I don't. Do I have a favorite chatter? It'll probably be Ruru. Ruru's cool. Ruru's, Ruru's real cool. She's been here since like a long time ago. I still love you. Though. Thank you, Ruben. Death or Ruru? Yeah, yeah, it's probably Ruru. Oh no, it's French. Oh god. Okay. Alright. You know, you gotta go to the comment section here. Alright. Has Pop way of coaching been different compared to last season with the expectations? And oh, good question. What? The French questions are always better. This is a good question. Yes, it has. I didn't expect him to be this precise on details about our plays for the first two preseason games and then also for the training after. Oh, he wasn't. Okay. Vic wasn't ready. I think it's clear for everyone that after this first game experience we've had, it won't look nothing like what we've been used to uh, last season. And the next question was, we seen you talk with CP3 on the bench last week. What were you guys saying? And who's the best at table tennis between you two? Oh, we never even looked at that. Yeah, they did like a table tennis tournament. We never looked. We, we had too much stuff to talk about. Right now, he's the best, but it won't last long. Uh, I'm getting better. And we were simply talking about the game, what he sees, what I see, what we could do to make the game better. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, all right. I'll get with you guys later. That was a good segment. That was, that's all I gotta say. Shout out to the French fans for trying. Oh yeah, let me shout them out. Thi Th Thidinos? Hold on, let me comment. Oops. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Clan looks super tired. Don't know how he's still going. I I don't I don't even know. I'm getting I'm getting off. Um I can't believe there's over a hundred people in here. I don't understand it. I well I guess I understand it. Not everybody is in my time zone, right? We're spread out all over the place. <sighs> birthday vibe birthday vibes all right so i'm about to chill i'm actually really hungry i need to eat something and then i'm going to bed um i'll be back live streaming saturday night after the game that'd be fun but the time being right now uh yeah you guys gotta deal with the segments from this from all these these things good stuff though good stuff